everyone welcome to the geo ecologist in this session on environmental geography we are going to discuss about mediterranean biome we are going to learn about the characteristics and various adaptations under this biome so let's go ahead but before we go ahead please like and subscribe to my channel the geo ecologist and you can also follow us on instagram so let's understand the distribution first so what we see here is in the world distribution the entirely this biome is confined between 30 degree north to 45 degree north and south of equator so largely we see it's away from the tropics right so 30 to 45 degree north and south of equator is its major distribution in the world the basic cause of this type of climate is the shifting of wind belts so remember whenever you hear mediterranean climate the wind belt shift the mixing in 30 to 45 degree north of equator is the main reason for this kind of climatic regime now mediterranean sea as the word itself is coming from mediterranean sea that's why mediterranean biome so the area adjoining mediterranean sea has the greatest extent of this type of particular biome which is characterized by winter rainfall so two important things that we learn here is the name is coming from the areas adjoining mediterranean sea and basic characteristic is winter rain so this area particularly has the rainfall in winters the best developed form of this climatic type is found in central chile so the development of this particular biome if you see the climate is largely well developed in terms of its characteristics in chile now other mediterranean regions include california that is around san francisco the south western tip of africa that is around cape town and then southern australia okay and southwest australia that is also sometimes known as swanland so this is the larger distribution of this biome all around the globe now let's look further about the climate specifically to mediterranean biome now basic characteristics include that skies are mostly clear and have high temperatures in this particular climate hot dry summers is there and cool wet winters remember cool wet winters is the major criteria that is winter rainfall mean annual precipitation ranges from 35 to 90 cm okay so it's not very high and not too less so somewhere in between now temperature of warmest month okay remember the temperature of warmest month greater than or equal to 10 degree c so that is somewhere a temperature range where temperature is not that extreme okay and it is favorable so temperature of coldest month is less than 18 degree c but greater than minus 3 degree c so this is the range so almost average temperature would be somewhere close to 10 to 15 degree c throughout the year now climate is not extreme in this particular area as we already have learned about this now a dry warm summer with offshore trades this is one of the major characteristic okay so remember this dry warm summer okay or offshore trade winds so in summer what happens when the sun is overhead that is on tropic of cancer especially in northern hemisphere if you seeing so westerlies is shifted a little towards the pole so what happens the rain bearing winds are therefore not likely to reach mediterranean lands because of this shift of westerlies right so the prevailing trade winds that is tropical easterlies are offshore and there is practically no rain so summers have completely dry condition in this particular area okay strong winds from inland that is desertic condition is there around the mediterranean if you see so they pose risk of wild fires in this particular time period now rainfall so rainfall is in winter as we know with onshore westerlies right so mediterranean lands receive most of their precipitation in winters when the westerlies shift towards equator again okay so the sunshine the shifting of these belts these are important climatic parameters to understand this climate this particular biome so in the northern hemisphere what happens the prevailing onshore westerlies bring much cyclonic rain and from atlantic that is typical to mediterranean climate so remember the rain bearing winds coming from the atlantic now rain comes in heavy showers and only a few days with bright sunny periods you can see there 
So this is major characteristic feature of the Mediterranean that is the winter heavy downpour, winter rainfall. So this downpour are infrequent and they are not often torrential in nature, okay? But they also sometimes lead to destructive floods. Okay, so they are important to understand that there are destructive floods in this particular where you have slopes, where you have mountain districts. Now, let's understand this very important feature of Mediterranean biome, basically the climate that is local winds. There are few local winds which are important and which many a times become part of the question in many competitive examinations. So first that we know is Sirocco. So this is the name of a local wind. Let's understand its characteristics. This is a hot, dry, dusty wind. Okay, it means it is moisture less. And origin point is Sahara Desert, that is south of the Mediterranean region. So it is most frequent in spring season and normally lasts for only few days. So it's not a long term wind, that is a local wind. And Sirocco blows outwards in southerly direction, south to north from desert interiors towards the Mediterranean Sea. So if you look in the world map, right from Sahara towards the Mediterranean, so northward from south is the direction. After crossing the Mediterranean Sea, what happens? Sirocco obviously gains moisture and it is slightly cooled by the absorption of water vapor, obviously, because it picks up moisture on the way. So it's scorching heat withers. It means it leads to the lots, lots of withering of vegetation and crops because of this heat effect that it has okay so many a times this is also sometimes remember known as blood rain bringing wind so blood rain is very famous so because the wind is carrying the red dust of sahara desert so what happens when it picks moisture and then it rains so this raindrop also looks reddish in nature that's why many a times this phenomena of blood rain is associated to sirocco that is a local wind so if a question is related to blood rain remember the local wind of mediterranean that is sirocco now let's understand the other one that is called mistral the word is mist and mistral so now look at this it is a cold wind sirocco was a hot dry wind now this is a cold wind and it is coming from north okay rushing down the Rhone Valley okay remember this one was going towards north the other is coming from the north so the other which is coming from the north is obviously cold and the major speed that we see here is 40 to 80 miles per hour so it is a fast violent wind and velocity of mistral is intensified because of the funneling effect because of the valleys it crosses along the flow that is the valleys of Alps so that is largely in the Rhone Valley in France. So similar type of cold northeasterly wind experienced along the Adriatic coast. If you go towards Adriatic now, that is in the northeastern part of the Mediterranean, there it is called Bora. So another important wind that is Bora. So Tramontane and Grigale are similar cold winds of Mediterranean Sea. So what do we learn? Sirocco, Mistral, Bora, Tramontana and Grigale. These are four major, five major winds, local winds that is there around Mediterranean region. Now let's look at the natural vegetation part in this biome. So trees with small broad leaves are widely spaced and never very tall. So not too many tall trees you'll find and small broad leaves. So absence of shade is a distinct feature because we don't have large amount of canopy cover that's why there is absence of shade in this particular biome so plants are in a continuous struggle against obviously because majority of the summers it is dry heat so excessive evaporation happens and prolonged droughts happen rainfall is only there in winters so that's why plants are in struggle so there are short xerophytic that is drought tolerant plant as we have already learned in the desertic biome so a word used to describe the dot resistant plants that is there in this particular biome now mediterranean evergreen forest let's understand this characteristic so they are open woodlands in evergreen oaks remember this comprises of evergreen oaks and they are found only in climatically most favored regions so the trees are normally low and stunted they have massive trunk Okay, the trunk size is massive and they have leathery leaves. Why? Again, the reason is the water balance and widespreading root because in search of water during the dry summers. 
okay the cork oaks are very famous if you remember they are specially valued for their thick barks used for making wine bottle corks right so cork oaks are found largely in this particular evergreen forest in australia eucalyptus dominates so that is part of evergreen oak and giant redwood is a typical of california that we all know so they are very giant evergreen trees now this is the composition of mediterranean evergreen forests now let's understand coniferous trees okay in terms of the mediterranean biome so where you have a little cold winters what happens pines firs cedars and remember these are needle shaped leaves and straight trunk trees that are found mediterranean bushes and shrubs this is another type which dominates this particular dry condition now grass conditions in mediterranean do not suit grass so remember grasses are not that well developed because of most rain comes in winters so even if grasses do survive they are very wiry it means very lean okay and tough and that's why they do not dominate because it is not suitable to grow in this condition and that's why animal rearing animal farming is not suitable because of this absence of well developed grasses okay so why is not animal rearing favored in mediterranean biome because of the absence of grasses okay now let's understand that cattle rearing is unimportant in mediterranean okay now so then what is important its main thrust is agriculture and more of agriculture is towards horticulture so orchard farming so mediterranean lands are also known as world's orchard lands okay world's orchard lands means mediterranean lands and a wide range of citrus fruits like oranges lemons limes citrons grapefruit all these are in varieties grown in this particular biome the thick leathery skin as we understand for citrus fruit to prevent excessive transpiration so prevent the moisture and mediterranean lands account for 70% of the world's export of citrus fruits remember that olive tree another important tree is probably the most typical of all mediterranean cultivated vegetation so olive oil is the best source best extract which is used for cooking and also for many medicinal purposes so besides olives there are many other trees like chestnut walnut hazelnut almonds these are grown and these are catering to the largely chocolate industry okay so all these fruit bearing trees are found in mediterranean climate now let's understand crop cultivation and sheep rearing which is in there now wheat is the leading food crop and barley is the next popular cereal so wheat and barley are grown mountain pastures with cooler climate support the sheep goat and sometimes little cattle so not much of cattle rearing but where you have little cooler climate little mountain meadows are found there we have sheep and goats so transhumance is widely practiced in this particular area and transhumance is migration seasonal migration for the pastures so that is what is practiced here and economy is largely dependent upon citrus fruits and dairy products okay so import of dairy product and export of citrus fruit that is how economy runs there clear skies in summer obviously and good landscape encourage tourism so it's a beautiful landscape aesthetics of landscape encourage tourism in this particular area and european mediterranean area has most of the cities which are, which are very famous for their health resort pleasure resorts all around the year millions of tourists come all across the mediterranean if you see and wine production this is where it leads the world so viticulture which is wine production is by tradition a mediterranean occupation remember that so regions bordering mediterranean account for three quarters of world's production of wine some 85 percent of grapes produced go into wine in this particular biome the long sunny summer is the main reason where grapes get to ripen up now let's understand in the end the problems of this biome so what are the major problems first is the rapid and abrupt land use changes that are happening that is common phenomena by the way all around the world but it is also impacting this particular biome right so mainly because of what developmental pressures and urbanization so that is what is intruding in and the natural balance is being lost then habitat fragmentation so natural habitat of the animals and plants are gradually being lost why because of the infrastructure development and then resource over exploitation and pollution so these are very common themes of 
issues in all biomes but this is dominating here largely in mediterranean biome so major factors these are imp major important factors you can say which impact upon mediterranean forests and they are leading to the degradation now understand climate change is the common factor threat to all biomes all across in different ways this adds up to the stress and it is accompanied by what you understand heat waves drought situation extremities anomalies temperature so this is what is happening in mediterranean biome and the balance is gradually being lost because of this so there is this major issue and resilience and adaptation capacity of the forests is gradually being exhausted so these are the major problems of mediterranean biome so thank you for this session on mediterranean biome the various characteristics distribution various flora fauna we discussed about the agriculture the economic activities and also the problems in today's session so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned stay safe keep learning